we've got a lot of people involved. It's not just the people sailing, um, but we've also got people skilled, semi-skilled, or not skilled at all, who come along and learn how to maintain the boat. By the time she hits the water for the new season, she's as bright as a pin. Um, but to do that takes an awful lot of organisation. And a lot of things now are quite difficult to source, including oak. We source trees, um, we, we get them sawn, and then we save an awful lot of cost. Um, those are, are brought to our base and stored at, are stored at base to, to dry and cure and to be ready for use in the future. So there's a, a long-term vision um, for the future of this boat. It's not just about the past. The past is important, but actually what's more important for us is the future, for enabling this boat to continue to sail on the broads. Most folks uh, who use the Albion um, do so for a kind of uh, reason which is important to them, but they're looking to celebrate an important day and pulling together friends and family and that kind of thing. And they have pretty much a unique day, I think. This boat is living history and it's not just the timbers. It's about, it is about, I think you do get a feeling of what it must have been like a um, hundred or more years ago, living and working in these conditions. Now we've got all mod cons of course, you know, we've got a loo and a cooker and uh, bunk beds for people who want to stay the weekend and um, quite a luxury in comparison I should think. The way things are going, it's a very bright future. I think people are coming to realise that they don't have to jet off halfway around the world to go somewhere that's absolutely fantastic. It's right on their doorstep.